Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a still photo or even a video and turn it into a 3D 360 perspective image. So in my project panel, I've just got a still photo loaded up and I'm just going to drag that onto my composition menu to create a new composition of this size. So in order for this to work, we're going to have to create a new camera layer. So let's highlight our layers panel and go to layer new camera and then just press OK. We can leave it as such. Now on our JPEG image, our photo layer, we see it's just a still photo here. We want to go to the effects panel and search for one in the perspective folder called CC environment. And when I click and drag this onto our photo, you'll notice that it'll kind of zoom into the photo a bit, but it's using the camera perspective. You'll notice if I hide the camera layer, nothing pops up. So you do have to have that there. And it allows us to map our still photo into a spherical kind of world. But in order to, for us to really see what's going on, we're going to have to zoom out a little bit. So we can take the lens distortion in the effects control panel and increase it back a bit because we kind of want to get our image back into frame. And you'll notice if I keep going way, way far, you see it turns into the original globe. This is the distortion that gives us that 3D look. And you'll see it has two poles right here and at the top. But if I zoom in just a bit so those poles are not so apparent and the distortion is not so visible. What we can do then is use the horizontal pan adjustment and we can pan around the image around those poles. So we've taken the still photo and yeah, there is going to be a little bit of distortion and whatnot, but again, the larger your photo is, the more room you'll have to crop in and zoom and avoid that. But we can basically take this photo from the crowd and it appears as though we're spinning around and we are really spinning around in 360. And in order to kind of keyframe that too, we could start at one point of the image, add this stopwatch icon right here on horizontal pan, move forward however far we want, and then move around that pan. And what you'll get if you drop down this menu in the effects panel is these two keyframes where we're going from one pan amount to the next. And it's pretty cool because this is just a still photo, but the way it's distorting is making it appear with perspective. Additionally, you can also go to your camera transform options and you can move around the different rotations of your camera if you want to adjust the X, Y, or Z there. And not only can you do this on still photos, this same technique does still work on videos as well. So just keep that in mind. So if you enjoyed this video, I actually have a whole playlist where I go over every single effect in After Effects folder by folder. So you can check out the rest of the perspective folder there. And you can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.